Welcome back. Well, having an app these days is like having a website was 10 years ago. Everybody's doing it. That's what it says in there. All right, so what do you do if you have a great idea for an app, but you don't know how to get started? Here with me today to break it all down is the founder of BV Mobile Apps, Gerald Oliveri. Welcome. Welcome, and happy Mother's Day. Thank you very much. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to your lovely wife, Courtney. Thank you. Hi, Courtney, if you're watching. We're kind of friends. All right, so I want to jump right in because I want the people to know if you are at home right now and you're like, I have this really great idea for an app, but I don't know what to do, where do they get started? Well, the first thing you want to do if you don't have any coding experience is you, you want to map out the idea. And then the next thing you want to do is where do you find a developer? Well, there are a lot of different places where you can go. Um, the first place that I always recommend to people are hackathons. That's okay. a great place where people who have business ideas can meet developers who want to work on those ideas and they can come together and build. Um, the other thing that I recommend is you can always go to college campuses and find hungry students who really want yeah. to um, and get involved with an idea, or you can look for referrals from other people who have had great experiences with developers. Okay, cool. And tell me, I don't want to get too far ahead, tell me a little bit about BV Mobile Apps too, quickly. Well, BV Mobile Apps primarily creates mobile apps for people in the entertainment industry. We focus primarily on radio, TV, musicians, podcasters, oh. um, artists, things of that nature. Uh, we're very segmented and we focus on that because that's the industry that we know. Uh, my business partner and I, Marshall Lyons, have a lot of experience in that area, so we chose specifically that industry. Can you name drop some people you've worked for now? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> I mean uh, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm going to ask. Well, somebody here in the Atlanta area, they know the two live stews. We've created yeah. the, the, the mobile app for Doug Stewart. Uh, we also are partners with uh, three of the major DJ coalitions, Core DJs, Fleet DJs, Nerve DJs. We also created the mobile app for... Uh, WRFG, which is a radio station here in Atlanta. So several DJs and podcasters yeah. and radio. I love that. Podcasts are becoming such a huge thing. I've been listening to podcasts for a long time, but I know so many people want to start their own podcast. Yeah. And what if you are a business developer or you own a business and you want to put that in an app? How do you go about starting that process? Well, there are a lot of app creators out there nowadays. And as you kind of mentioned, it's kind of like it was 10 years ago. I mean, there are Wix and there are other site creators out there that you can use to create a site where well, there's a lot of things out there similar to that for that for mobile apps where you can go and use their templates and easily get your app up and running for a low cost. Right. Um, you, you'll have to pay your Apple developer fee, uh, which is $99 for a year, and your one-time Google development fee, which is $25. But beyond that, then the monthly fees for whatever service you decide to use is, is pretty inexpensive nowadays. Right. Okay, so I found a developer. Then what happens? Because I know you were talking about kind of you know, doing a non or a, a non, not a non-disclosure, is that the right? Yeah, yeah, non-disclosure, oh, okay, okay. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's, the, that's the first thing I recommend doing whenever you meet with the developer right. is you sign a non-disclosure agreement to make sure that they don't run off with your idea and, um, and, and then go and create it. So that's the first thing you want to have on deck is if you have an idea is get that agreement signed. Uh, but then at that point, you want to try and work out some type of partnership because if you have a great idea and your business is the app, you really need to have that in-house because you don't want to outsource that and then have to go back to that person to continually make changes. Uh, you want to have that person in-house so you can make those updates on the fly. Uh, if you are a business and the app is not your main business, mm -hmm. then it's okay to outsource that and use an app creator, kind of like what I mentioned earlier, because you don't really need to get into the development and all the inner workings. You just need it to complement your existing business. Right, and I love that you said also try to find a developer that's passionate about what you're particularly doing. If you're doing fintech, find somebody that's you know passionate about financial technology so they can help problem solve as you go along and it can be more of a collaboration. Absolutely, yeah. and if you offer them equity in your company, then they have something at stake as right. well. Right, that's cool. Okay, so what if you're ready to launch your app? How do you go about maximizing that process? Well, that part is something that a lot of people don't really pay attention to. They think they can put it in the app store and it's just going to go, but there's really a process and a whole marketing scheme that goes behind that. The first thing I always recommend is to do a soft launch. Uh, you want to start off with just an app in the store and get some pilot users, test it out. Um, a couple of other things that I always recommend when you're putting an app in the store, put keywords in the app name because it helps people find your app who may not necessarily be looking for your app. Um, the other thing I recommend is to get captions along with your screenshots so that as people are scrolling through and they decide whether or not I want to download this app, they can actually see a little bit more information about the screen that they're viewing. And you want to encourage people to rate and review your app because apps with higher ratings appear higher in the app store. All right, Gerald. Thank you so much. That was great information. Thank okay, you for having I'm me. I'm thinking of an idea right now. I think maybe we could collaborate on it. I don't know. All right. Okay, thank you so much.